welcome to the Reclaim is Data Recovery channel and today the topic is why it is important uh, to use a powerful hardware not only for this cloning or repair but also for the logical part of the recovery. Very often we see a situation where the people involved in professional data recovery do not pay enough attention to the computers used in the logical data recovery. Often they use laptop to which they connect the drives via USB or assemble USB hubs to the daisy chain, uh, citing the fact that the one of task is not worth a specialized computer. Most often this point of view is wrong because a powerful PC will serve you faithfully for a long time and uh, will pay for itself more than once uh, decreasing the turnaround time. Let's look at the main workstation components. First, uh, it is a set of motherboard, memory and CPU. As for a motherboard, the first thing that comes to mind is to choose the motherboard with the large number of ports for connection. However, in practice it turns out that the additional ports are usually served by additional controllers by another manufacturer. Uh, and these additional controllers have problems with the disks containing bad sectors. Intel uh, controllers are in practice uh, the best commodity hardware you can get. Uh, that's why no matter how many uh, ports uh, the motherboard has, because eventually you are left uh, uh, with the maximum of uh, six uh, reliable ports. Uh, so, when selecting the motherboard, uh, do not chess uh, for the motherboard with a large number of ports. Something like uh, 6 uh, sounds quite reasonable. Keep in mind that uh, logical data recovery performed on the large number of drives uh, requires uh, a plenty of memory. Uh, we as data recovery software developers are working hard at reducing memory consumption. However, complex cases with the large number of files, think uh, tens of millions of files, just cannot be recovered on a computer having only 8 GB memory. So choose the motherboard with, uh, the, with more memory slots. Uh, logical data recovery uses some processors, but uh, these requirements are not that high. Most data recovery software does not use uh, many processor cores, so if you come to choose between more cores and uh, higher frequency, go for higher frequency. Overall, on my opinion, uh, the set like this uh, looks pretty good and will serve for at least 5 years. Continue on. Uh, since no motherboard has enough ports uh, for large-scale data recovery, for example, data extraction uh, from uh, a 15 disk NAS, we still need to decide how to connect the disks. Uh, one option is to buy a separate controller. Actually, the only thing that matters is the number of ports rather than its RAID capability. Uh, however, uh, RAID controllers are excessively complex, bringing its own specifics, which you can certainly do without in an already complex uh, data recovery field. Uh, so, um, the most reasonable option is to use uh, a host bus adapter without RAID capability. For example, you can take something like this. Not that additionally you needed a set of cables which adds about 100 bucks. One or so of the suspects that cannot be overlooked when dealing with uh, the large number of disks uh, is power consumption. Usually such systems require two power supply units, one of them dedicated to the disk array. Once the original hard drives have been connected and the data has been recovered, you need to copy the recovered files and folders to a safe location. In practice, people either use a USB external hard drives, which then are sent to a client, or pump out the data to a large NAS device for temporary storage. Uh, almost any modern motherboard has a built-in gigabit network and USB 3. However, for USB 3, I would check a particular motherboard documentation before purchasing. 
Additionally, if you are feeling uh, adventurous, uh, you can take a motherboard with two uh, net network ports and combine uh, two connections uh, into the single channel to speed up data transferring device. Anyway, mechanical implementation of case, power and uh, connections are determined only by your personal preferences. Any setup that works will do. Let's summarize. A budget uh, for a powerful PC on which you can effectively uh, perform logical recoveries for at least 5 years uh, is slightly more than $1,500. On the other hand, uh, this power of PC will pay for itself uh, with a single large recovery like those involving uh, 15 hard drives. If you like our data recovery lessons, subscribe to the Reclaimist channel. Reclaim your team was with you. See you soon!